The Lord's beautiful invitation is to come to Him because life has become so cumbersome, heavy and difficult. A God who, who, can, who understands us properly, completely. He heard, he heard the cry of the people in Egypt. He saw the pain, the agony they went through. And that's how he appointed Moses to free them from that bondage. The Lord is saying that, tell them Yahweh, the God of your fathers and God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and God of Jacob appeared to me and said, I have seen and taken account of how the Egyptians have treated you. And I mean to bring you out of all this oppression in Egypt and take you to the land of Canaanites, a land flow, flowing with milk and honey. So he had, through that pain, he has promised a promised land. So that's how he deals with you. He feels you. He can hear you. My dear friends, this heavy, heavy load, this difficult life will teach you something. Why it is difficult? There is, a, there is a contradiction with our lives. Why? The work is hard. Because you are not connected properly. When Moses asked God's name, he said, I am who I am. I am who I am. Only God can say this. I can say, I am Father Colored. Okay, I am so and so. But then, there is, a, there, is a, there, is a, there is a gap between who I am and the real me. There is a gap always. Only God can say, I am who I am. So in that situation, we find how we are sometimes trapped within ourselves. How we are, we are caught within ourselves. The way of life has made our life cumbersome. The way we live, because there's a contradiction. There is a split personality within ourselves. So there is always a gap between what we say, what we think, and what we do. That's the main reason when there is no dichotomy, when there is no compatibility in our natures, so, life is difficult, difficult, isn't it? In a machine, all the wheels are not working properly. I mean, it's the machine work, the, there won't be a smooth running of the machine. So, that's exactly why we feel tired, why we, we, are, why we feel cumbersome, tired, heavy in our work, in whatever we have to do. The reason is the connection. So God says, I will take you out. I will take you out from Egypt, this bondage, from this slavery. I will take you out. Only he can do that. Because he's, I am who I am. Only he can do that. So exactly why, why the Lord is saying, come to me, all who are heavy, all who, are work, all, all who work hard and carry heavy burdens. And I will give you rest. Come to me, what is heavy in your life? And why it is heavy? The most, most heavy thing in your life is sin. The life without connection. That's why you are tired. You read Isaiah, verse, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. How, the, how, how those who go, those who, those, who are, those who have the proper connection, how they fly like eagles. If you are connected properly, as the root is connected to the river, that tree is never, never withered because it is connection, connected properly. So life, if your married life, your whatever the life you are living, it has become cumbersome with sin. It has become heavy because you, you feel tired, boring, lethargic. Because you, you, do, you lose the meaning when you are away from God. 
The Lord is saying, come to me. Come to me. And then he says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. He's going to teach you something. Teach you. The Lord is saying, you have to unlearn something. You have your yoke and you have to take it out and take my yoke. In life, yeah, there are a lot of things to, things to unlearn and undo. Because our lifestyle has, has caught up in a, in, a, in a vicious circle. We are caught up there. That's exactly why we are stuck. The Lord is saying, I'm, I'm, you have to undo and take my yoke. Yoke is a sign. Sign of the teacher and the student. You put the yoke to the animal, the bull, and uh, you control that animal completely. Animal's freedom is curtailed because it has a yoke. So that's how the teacher would, would put the yoke to the students symbolically. So teacher can completely control the student to turn the right to left, move forward or stop or speed or, or slow down. Teacher would have the control. That's exactly the Lord is saying, I'm going to teach you new life. Not, not new life without any trouble or difficulty. But then you will learn a way of life which is, which is, not, which is not heavy. Because not because it's the, it does, does not have any weight. But then the way you carry it is difficult, different. The Lord is saying, I will give you rest. And learn from me, for I am gentle, humble of heart. And you will find rest. For my is good, my yoke is good, and my burden is light. Tier 5, fine. Jesus is yoke. The cross. He shouldered it with the love of God. Love of the Father. And that, 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 that cross was heavy. It was difficult. But the love he had to his Father made it easy to carry Gave him strength to hold on without giving up. So he has bo he has he has taken our punishment, our yoke of sin into his shoulder. On his shoulder, and he has made us free. So he's teaching us something. He said something very, very profound and deep. That we have to take his yoke and learn from him. We have to give our freedom to him. So he could teach us. That is the land of milk and honey. Where you're, you're, you're completely in the protection and care of God. You will have find meaning there. When you learn from him. So it's, if you are tired, if you are weary, cumbersome, terrible, you just go to him. And he will give you something. In that obedience, in that heeding, you give your ear to him. Listen to him out of obedience. You do what he wants you to do. That, that gives you complete rest, my dear friends. Think about it and have a nice day. May God bless you.